Linny and Larry's is full of A huge mistake that you can make is thinking that the point of a label is to inform you. It's not. The point of a label is to try to sell you stuff. So let's take a look at this Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. So for most people, we're not used to reading food labels and we're especially not used to turning around to the back to see what actually matters. But if you look at the front of this thing, I'll even bring it up really close to the camera so you can see. You're just bombarded with stuff that makes you think, oh, this is gonna be great for me. 16 grams of protein, and Tiny barely can read it per cookie, but oh, fiber, no dairy, no egg, no soy, non-GMO, vegan. There's just all these buzzwords that they're blasting you with, but what actually matters is on the back. And because this might be kind of small, I'll bring it up just so you can look at it. You might even pause the screen later just to fact check me, but I put all the information for this up on the whiteboard. So we're gonna look at a few cookies today. We got Lenny and Larry's, we have a comparable version from Quest, another high protein cookie. And we've got Milk's favorite cookie, Oreo. So check it out. We're gonna come over to the board real quick. And we're gonna actually rate with an honesty level each one of these cookies at the end of the review. So misleading labels, starting out with our friends Lenny and Larry, very disappointed in those guys. 16 grams of protein, per cookie, right? So on the serving size, they actually put um, serving sizes half of a cookie. So the serving that they put for the protein on the front, and like this, this really gets me going. 16 grams of protein for the entire thing, but when you look at the nutritional information on the back, once again, it's for half of a cookie. So really, that should be an eight. Kind of stupid, but I guess that's, well, it, it is both here and there, not neither here nor there. So it also has 16 grams of fat, 66 grams of carbs, 66 carbs for that one little cookie. It's, it's, and it tastes like chalk. You know, Lenny and Larry need to get their act together, man. But it comes out to be in 472 calories, which is another fun thing because I didn't even get to that until this review got going and I started doing the math on it. Because if you look at the label on this thing, yeah, yeah here we go. So it actually says servings per container two and calories 200. So that comes out to 400 calories according to these two idiots, but it's actually 472. So that's pretty bad. There's so much misleading stuff on this label. Um, it's not even funny, but I'm gonna pull out my review marker and on an honesty rating, I'm going to give them a Peter Baelish, AKA Littlefinger, not very honest. So shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. Ding a ding a ding. Lenny and Larry. Shame. Shame. All right, next up. Quest. So Quest does a lot of things right, but one of the things that they seem to never do right is they keep putting net carbs on everything. So if you look at net carbs, you think to yourself, oh, it's only four grams of net carbs. Carbs are bad for you, blah, blah, blah. So let's throw that on label, sell a bunch of cookies. That's kind of the mindset there. But in truth, you do get energy from carbs, even if those carbs are fiber, because your gut bacteria ferments it, breaks it down into short chain fatty acids, which your body then uses for energy. Maybe not quite to the tune of four calories per gram, depending on the type of fiber, but you're still getting energy from it. So that is misleading. Now it's got 15 grams of protein. And well, uh, so here's another place where Quest did it right. They actually gave you the information for one cookie instead of half of a cookie. So good on you, Quest. Again, shame on you, Lenny and Larry. But anyway, 15 grams of protein for the Quest cookie, 17 fat, 19 total carbs, and 266 calories. And so doing the calorie calculation on this, it kind of got a little interesting because a lot of their uh, carbs are coming from erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol, alcohol which has 0.25 calories per gram. So anyway, doing the math, it comes out to about 266 a cookie. So the rating for Quest is a Varus. So it'll tell you what you want to hear. Maybe not everything you need to hear, but they want you to buy their cookies. So, so good old honest Oreos. It's milk's favorite cookie. It looks tasty. It is tasty. 
Um, and they give you the nutrition information for three cookies, 160 calories. And so this is what's funny. If we look at this little stack here, which is, oh, try not to drop it. That's seven and a half Oreos, which is 400 calories, which is what at surface level, you would think a Lenny and Larry cookie is. So the actual Lenny and Larry cookie probably has more like eight and a half, uh, just doing the math in my head. A little bit misleading there, but if you look at the Oreos for seven and a half, you've got two and a half protein, but they're cookies. You're not trying to get protein from your cookies. Just eat a cheese stick, have some whey. Uh, 17 and a half fat, 62 and a half carbs, and 418 calories. And you're eating cookies, man, it's Oreos. What you see is what you get. So Oreos are like the Ned Stark of cookies. Very honest. So we're gonna rate them a Ned. So anyway, beware of misleading labels. And remember that the point of a label is to try to sell you something, is not to give you accurate information. So if you really wanna know the truth about what you're eating, Flip it over and look at the back. Flip it over, look at the back, and cheers to Oreos.